host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Pow, pow. Let's go, baby. You ready to do this, Teddy? Tonight. Leilani, you guys, I'm telling you, all-star squad right here. Teachers, ready to roll? Feeling good out there. I hope you guys are, too. Welcome to the show, everybody. Today, look who it is. It's the students and their teachers from Pan American Academy Charter School in the Fair Hill section of Philadelphia. They just entered the classroom. The show lets students try to prove that, hey, you can be smarter than your teacher. But the best schools, they have the best spirit sections, and Philly delivered today. What's up out there? They've been rocking all morning, man. I'm ready to do this thing. It's winner take all on the cash and bragging rights. Before we even meet our contestants, it's pop quiz time. your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Here we go, guys. Good luck in pop quiz. Let's play. The U.S. Constitution was signed at Independence Hall in what state? Here we go, Miss Collins. Pennsylvania. There it is, first point. How about it? Which of the eight official planets in our solar system is the smallest? Here we go, Teddy. Mercury. Mercury's right. Good job, Teddy. In a standard deck of 52 playing cards, how many suits are there? Mr. Cartagena. Four. Four is right. Hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. How about this guy's extra credit question? This one's worth 20. In grammar, noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection are all examples of what? <laughs> Leilani? Figurative speech. For the steel teachers. We're looking for the parts of speech. Leilani, you were so oh. close. <laughs> what yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy character is known for only saying three words, including his name? Here we go, Mr. Gonzalez. I am Groot. I am Groot is right. Oh In, if there are 30 cupcakes available and 10 kids have two cupcakes each, how many cupcakes are left? Miss Collins. 15. For the steal. Free guess here. I've got a Teddy. We're looking for 10 there, but I yeah. like the guess. He's like, well, I'm here to play. <laughs> the largest honeybee responsible for populating the colony is given what royal title? Miss Collins. Queen Bee. Queen Bee is right. What color of the rainbow is used as the background in the ghost logo for Snapchat? Leilani. Yellow. Yellow is right. I love the excitement out of you, Leilani. Okay. Scores look good. Teachers, 40 points out of pop quiz. Students with 20 points out of pop quiz. Leilani, that was a $500 smile if I've ever seen it. You felt good there with the yellow. I'll tell you what, if you win that 500, what are you going to do with it? We're going to take it um, for our community garden. Oh, my gosh. Anything in particular you want to plant? Um, flowers, plants. Just it's going to look really good over there. Yep. All right, excellent. Teachers, how about you, Miss Collins? If you win that 500 today, where's that going to go? So we're going to apply it to our gate program. That's where all of our students get to experience the globe in oh, many different excellent. ways. Oh, that's excellent. What a yep. great place to put that money. Man, that could go far for a student. Leilani, you ever been in detention before? No. Uh, you want one right now? No. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the no. questions right, guys. I think we should send somebody to detention. Okay, guys, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. Here's how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. So, students, we're going to start with you first today. You'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass. You choose to play and answer the question correctly. So now I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to send one of your teachers to detention. But if you get it wrong, be careful, Teddy. You could be headed to detention yourself. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. You get everyone into detention, you laugh at them, you point, and I'm gonna give you 40 points. Let's start the round. Kids, how do you feel about the category of social studies? Remember, you're working you as a pass? team here. Do you pass? Do you wanna play that? Pass. We're gonna pass, you're not loving social studies. No. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna send it over to the Spanish math and science teacher, here's your question. Locations that include Lasco in France and Cuava de la Manos in Argentina are famous for what kind of prehistoric art depicting animals hunting scenes and early humans? Like cave, like cave, uh, cave artists, like cave. Prehistoric? Prehistoric cave art? Yeah. The answer 
for Miss Collins? We're going to go with prehistoric cave art. That is right. There you go. How about it? Yeah. Petroglyphs out there for the scientific term. Petroglyphs. Students, you guys passed. I always have to ask, did you know it? Yes. Oh, yeah. man. Well, tough pass for you guys. And how about it, teachers? They get to go to detention. Who's it going to be? Hmm, Sanai. Wow. That wasn't even a thought, Sanai. Out of the game and headed to detention. Look, if you're going to go to detention, do it with as big a smile as Sanai has on her face right now. Okay, teachers, your category is math. Math? We'll yes, we'll play. Okay, what is the term for two positive numbers that have no common positive factors except one? Okay. Three seconds, guys. Need an answer? Ms. Collins? Lowest common factor. I love you trying to get it in there, but not going to be correct. You guys know it. It's relatively prime, co-prime or mutually prime. So, how about it, Leilani, Petty? You guys didn't have to do anything, and now you get to send one of your teachers to detention. It's Who's easy. going? Mr. Gonzalez. Yep. Mr. Gonzalez, <laughs> our fifth grade is Spanish teacher. Teddy, you looked like you had something against Mr. Gonzalez there. Didn't begin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're bringing some outside factors in there. Okay, guys, here you go. Category is literature. Yeah. Okay, Pat. Take it, take it. We're gonna play. play? Yep. What is the first name of the little girl who is the main character in Roald Dahl's The BFG? <gasps> I don't know if I, I've never watched that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I forgot her name. Um, do you know her? No, I never watched that. I forgot her name. You want to take a guess? Um, Need an answer? I don't know. Oh, the answer was Sophie, guys. Oh, Sophie, the big friendly I giant. Like I like the categories literature, and Teddy goes, I didn't see it. I've never <laughs> seen that one. All right, sorry, guys. Your teachers, you get to send someone to detention. Who's it going to be? Leilani. Leilani, our team captain. Guys, she's in seventh grade over here, and she's team captain today for the students. All right, Leilani, so now you guys are out. Teddy, this is all on you, my man. But you wait right here because it's teacher's category. Okay. Okay, guys, here you go. Sports. Pass or play? If you don't feel confident, Teddy's over there. Doesn't look like he likes sports at all. No. I know. All right, I think pass. Pass. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's giving the little shoulder toss. He's like, give it to me. Give it to me. All right, well, hopefully now you get it. Yeah. What Atlanta NFL team shares its name with a bird of prey? Um, Pelicans. Yo! Oh. No! Teddy, the answer was the oh. Atlanta Falcons. Oh. Teachers oh. win the detention. Teddy, you got to make the walk over the detention. Mr. G, you are officially released. And how about it, Miss Collins? I saw you had the answer as soon as you passed it over there. All right, guys, well, don't go anywhere. How about that round? Some of our contestants can be showing off their drawing skills in our class when we come back. I thought for sure he had it. and teachers from Pan American Academy Charter School in the Fair Hills section of Philadelphia, home of the Cheetahs. Look at that place, guys. Give it up for them. Yeah. yeah. I would go to school there. You guys do go to school there. How cool is it? That is pretty, pretty cool. All right, pretty cool. You heard it here first. Should we meet some of your friends? What do you guys say? Check these guys out. Hi, my name is Leilani, and I'm in seventh grade. I'm small, but I'm mighty. Hi, my name is Sanai Riley. I'm in eighth grade, and I enjoy dancing. My name is Teddy, and no, I'm not a bear. I'm in eighth grade, and I love playing basketball. Hello, my name is Miss Collins. I'm a sixth and seventh grade science teacher, and it's going to be an explosive experience. Hi, my name is Mr. Cartagena. I teach sixth and seventh grade math, but just because I'm a math teacher doesn't mean I don't have the moves. Hello, my name is Mr. Gonzalez. My initials are OMG. Ay, Dios mío. All right, look, no hugging teddies, not a teddy bear, but we are starting with a little bit of art class. Let's see how well he does. Oh. 
Okay, here's how the game will work. Each team selected one player to draw on this board. The trailing team's gonna go first, so I got Teddy up here hanging out with me. Now, he's gonna select a card with a word or phrase hidden inside. He'll have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk about it and come up with one correct answer. They get it right, it's 30 points. If they guess incorrectly, I'll give you guys a couple more chances, but the points decrease with each round we go. Now, Teddy, here's the hard part. Do you select the red or the blue card? Gotta go blue. All right, he's going blue, which is not the Atlanta Falcons color, so that's good. <laughs> okay, you can stand behind the board back here. You can open that up, grab a pen, and the five seconds is gonna start when I say, okay? On your mark, get set, and draw. Good luck, five seconds on the clock. Okay, he used one second and he's put the pen away. So I'm just gonna turn the board. Are you guys ready? What? Literally drew for one second. Okay, are you ready? You're gonna get this for it's sure. Here we go, 10 seconds to talk about it. <laughs> no gestures, you just uh, one guess, ladies. That's a tough one, you get one guess, what's gonna be? Ball. Is it a ball? It's not a ball, okay. Nope, you can't tell, you gotta get back behind there. You're gonna get another five seconds to draw here. Now, correct answer in this round is gonna be worth 20 points. You have a full five seconds, so if you wanna draw for longer than one second, I got you on this round, ready? Your time starts now. Oh, 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 I can't go. Okay, he's going hard here, ladies. Okay. <laughs> it's simple. Okay, are we ready, ladies? Ten seconds on the board. Uh, he drew a line, but then he raised it. Okay, ready. All right. Ten seconds to talk about it. You feel like you got it, Leilani? Yeah. What do you think? Circle? Not what? correct. It's not. Yes, it is a circle, but not for this round. You what get one more that? time now, Teddy. Here you go. I'm going to give you 10 <laughs> seconds to finish this drawing. Correct oh. answer is going to bank you guys 10 points. Your time starts right now. There he goes. He's adding. This is good. How's art class at your school? Pretty good? Awesome, man. All right. It looks good. All right. Are we ready? Pen comes down. Good luck, ladies. Ten points on the line. Easy. Okay. <laughs> all right. Take it all in. Take it all in. Sanai, Leilani. Planet. Incorrect. The answer, snowballs. 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 Uh, and they were exactly right. Good one. So no points there for Teddy. Good job. We're going to change this up. We're going to get the teachers out here. <laughs> Okay, I mean, a, a snowball is a circle. So, as for him, uh, that was right on par. All right, we're gonna give you this red card. You can look at that. You can stand behind the board, grab your pen. Good luck. Five seconds starts right now. Okay, stop, pen down. Good luck. 10 seconds, guys. Okay. Here's your art. <laughs> what are we looking at? That was my guess. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right, okay. Answer? Queen. Not a queen, we're gonna put you back behind the board. Okay, here we go, another five seconds, 20 points on the line, good luck, your time starts right now. Okay, he's getting a little bit more creative here. I like the way he's headed, and stop, and we move to you guys. 10 seconds, talk about it. <laughs> this is pretty fantastic. The answer? Nice. Not a night, incorrect, and we move on. Now you're gonna have 10 seconds to finish this. We're gonna work 10 points right here. Here you go. Your time starts right now. We've heard queen, we've heard knight. What is he gonna be able to do to differentiate? Yeah, this is great. Okay, time is up, and good luck, guys. Okay. Last answer. This one's gonna be worth 10 points. Can you do it? <laughs> Cowboy. Cowboy's right. There's 10 points. Gets you score. Gets you guys. Man, I'm telling you, snowballs for everyone. We're all drawing them. Now, before we go to break, there are more points on the line. Who wants some extra credit? All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial to break to the right down the correct answer. A correct answer is going to be worth 10 points, guys. Good luck, everybody. Make sure you're playing at home. Here it is. What is the superhero name? of Batman's Boy Wonder. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna give you the answer, we're gonna award some points, and this game will continue. We'll see you right after the break. Good job, coach. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today, we have 
students and teachers from Pan American Academy Charter School in Fairhill section of Philly. All right, 90 points for the teachers are feeling good. They're laughing. Students with 20 on the board, but you guys are feeling confident too, and I love that. They're ready to rock. Before we went to break, guys, both teams, this extra credit question, what is the superhero name of Batman's Boy Wonder? You guys know a sidekick, or do you, Leilani? Robin? Robin, teachers, Miss Collins, you said... Robin as well. Robin, and guys, how about it? Ten points aside, getting a you know, 100. You guys are 30. Let's go. The bus driver's waiting. Hop aboard. We're taking a field trip. <laughs> Nothing better than a field trip. You get out of class, you get in a bus, you go somewhere cool. Where are we going today? It's the coolest place in Philly. It's the Philadelphia Zoo. Guys, the first person to buzz in and get the correct answer is going to be worth 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your side's locked out, but the other side can still jump in and steal. Fox 29 meteorologist Kathy Orr is back here for season two, and she's asking the questions today. Here's Kathy. Hey, Richard, it is a beautiful day at the Philadelphia Zoo. Here is question number one. Philadelphia Zoo was the first zoo established in the United States before it opened in 1874. What major military conflict delayed the opening? Buzzer, stay silent. The answer, guys, how about this one? The Civil War delayed that one opening. So, oh, we're not going to get there. 1874, we move on to question two. That was a tough one, Kathy. Can you follow it up with another one? Now time for question number two. The zoo's Water is Life exhibit includes a habitat for what playful swimmers known for their webbed feet and long flattened tails? Miss Collins. Seals. Incorrect. Otters. Buzz in if you know it. Sanai? Otters. Otters is right. Okay. Gets you guys up to 40 points. Nice. That's a cool animal. The otters are cool, right? <laughs> Always cool to see them hanging out and swimming around. Okay, Kathy, one more question on the field trip. Students are going to try to grab it. Let's see it, guys. Now, here's question number three. The pride of the Philadelphia Zoo is Big Cat Falls, home to many species of felines, including the fastest cat on Earth. Can you name that species? Sanai. Lion. Incorrect. Teachers, for the steal. Miss Collins. Cheetahs. Cheetahs is right. Yes. Stealing those points tonight. Did you feel like you had that one now? Yeah, yeah, you knew it. You knew it. All right. Well, big thanks to Kathy Orr for leading our field trip today. She always does such a great job. Scores. Teachers. 110. Nicely done. Yeah. Students with 40, and they're on the cusp of making a big break heading into final exam. Here you go, guys. The topic of today's final exam is Ain't No Mountain High Enough. This means all the questions have something to do with mountains. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points for your team. You guys, during the break, will write down your answers. You put your heads together. See if you can get them correct. First, let's give you these answers. Let's try with these questions. There'll be no answers given right now, by the way. Mount St. Helens is located in what U.S. state close to the border of Oregon? Question two. In an episode of Bunked, Luke Ross takes which of his siblings along with Griff on a hiking expedition up a mountain? Finally, question three. Here you go. Final exam worth 100 points. What is the name of the highest mountain in Greece, believed by the ancient Greeks to be the home of their major gods? There are your questions, guys. There's 300 points on the board. We got Teddy, Sinai, and Leilani looking to make a comeback here in the final exam and say, I am smarter than my teacher. And those three are saying, no way, not today. After the commercial, who's it going to be? Is it going to be the students or the teachers acing the test right here in the classroom? But we're calling it. It's season two, and I want to cordially invite you to join the show. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an author, school official go to the classroom.com for more information on how to get on the show
into the classroom. Today, the students and teachers from Pan American Academy Charter School are going head to head. The scores, teachers in the lead 110 to the students 40. The topic today, ain't no mountain high enough. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions about our final exam. Each correct answer is banking them 100. Who's gonna win this thing? We're gonna find out right now. Here's your first question, guys. Mount St. Helens is located in what U.S. state? Close to the border of Oregon. We're gonna start with our students. You guys are behind. Teddy, you said. <laughs> Mexico. Uh, incorrect, and we move over to our teachers. Mr. G, you said. Montana. Also incorrect, Washington was the right answer there. No right answer on either side, and we move to question two. In an episode of Bunked, Luke Ross takes which of his siblings along with Griff on a hiking expedition up a mountain? Sanai, you say. Zori. Zori is right, gonna get you up to 140, and how about it? A little taste of the lead right there after question two. Here we go, Mr. Cartagena, you said. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, incorrect. And students, you guys have the lead going into our third and final question. What is the name of the highest mountain in Greece, believed by ancient Greeks to be to be the home of their major gods? We're going to start with our students. You said Leilani for the win. Mount Everest? Incorrect. And teachers, it comes down to this. You nail it. You get it right. 500 goes back with you. You said Mount Olympus. That is correct. Teachers win it. Leilani can't believe it. They're stunned. Come on out here and get the big check. The school's taking home that cash anyway. But what a game here on the classroom. Thanks for being here. We're going to see you next time. The brand new school.